Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you can say the next seven days, it's being recorded on the 14th. So you could say the 14th to the 21st, okay? Now, the timing is still fluid. That's a pile, we're not gonna take it. The timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? You could also say this is seven days from the date that you watch it. I guess we will take those. So what do we have for Sagittarius? June, the month of June is prominent. Now, June could be also, you could be dealing with uh, a Gemini or a Cancer. But, or it could be just the month of June is prominent this week. Happiness, happiness. So something is happening uh, this week that is gonna bring you happiness or it is about your happiness. And there could be something that happened in June that is coming to fruition to be dealt with this week. Interesting, November. So we didn't even get a regular card. We got months in an astral house which is interesting. So November is prominent of November and it's right next to the happiness card. So something is gonna happen uh, probably this month uh, that affects your happiness. It, I feel like it's positive because in this June card, we have an angel. So there's the angels usually bring protection and love and good things like that. So. What do we got? What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, here we go. This flipped over. This is infatuation and obsession. So somebody is infatuated and obsessed. They will not change ever, ever. So you're dealing with somebody that is never, ever, ever, ever going to change. So, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with another Sagittarius. We also have Gemini and Cancer. Um, there's some sort of infatuation here. We have an ass, somebody that's never going to change. Let's cut this deck. What do we have? Ooh, interesting. Temperance. And the three of pentacles reversed. So temperance is a card of purpose. It's a card of balance and harmony and managing feelings. And it's patient. And I was going to say thank you for your patience, okay? So there's something to do with patience here. Now, the three of pentacles reversed is lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, uh, lack of respect for others. We got somebody here that doesn't respect others, that doesn't work well with others. I feel like you're going through some sort of transition right now. Um, maybe you've been working with the wrong people. I feel like I have a sneeze coming. Lack of teamwork. We have a lack of teamwork here. I did pause to sneeze. Um, so, lack of harmony with others with the Three of Pentacles. Reverse. So, but the, the uh, Temperance card is a card of balance. It's a card of exchange. It's a card of purpose and timing. So, there's something that is happening. Things are going to get better for you. Maybe there's been some bad timing. You know, maybe you were working with somebody that is disrespectful or doesn't work well with others or they don't put in much effort. Maybe they're not really qualified or something like that. You have something better that is coming for you. Page of Swords reversed, first card out. Five of Cups reversed as the challenge. So... Bad news. I'm not sure if there's bad news here. You may have an enemy disguised as a friend. Um, somebody that is very immature, that steps on other people's toes. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you may receive some information or some news that helps you to move forward. It feels like you've been focusing on somebody that is very childish, very immature, that doesn't care who they hurt. Um, five of Cups reverse is focusing on the future, right? It's moving on. I feel like um, 
This is like accepting something. You're dealing with somebody that uh, may play mind games with you, you know? This is somebody that, uh, I don't know, we may even have somebody who has some mental health issues or they have some control issues or there could even be some psychological abuse here. There's some sort of grieving. Grieving, you've been grieving, you've been crying over this. Maybe you've been angry and upset dealing with somebody that is controlling. I feel like you've got, you're got you dealing with somebody that is um, that is very immature. It doesn't matter what their age is. This person is an ass. They like to bring you down. They like to cause you, they, they like to cause you grief. Ooh, two of cups. Two of cups is the focus of this reading. Six of cups reversed in your past. Three of pentacles upright. Empress, high priestess, sun reversed, hangman reversed, and eight of cups as your overall outcome. So, some of you have been clinging. You've been clinging to the past because in the past we have the six of cups reversed. That's clinging to the past, selective memory. Nothing stays the same. I feel like you've been holding on to something that from your past, a lot of memories or uh, a situation could be even a partnership from your past or some sort of neglect from the past. I feel like it's it's really been causing you a lot of discomfort. You know, it's causing you a lot of angst. You've really been focusing on something that happened in the past. I feel like this has to do with some sort of partnership because that is the focus of the reading. I also feel like you uh, have an opportunity to work with somebody else. Mirroring this is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is teamwork, is togetherness, it's, it's collaboration, it's communication. I feel like you're going to be given an opportunity to work with somebody. I think that you have some sort of skill that is desirable. You may not be aware of it. Um, Three of Pentacles is creating something, working together with somebody else. I feel like you are going to be working together with somebody. I feel like you're going through a period of growth. You're going through a period, it's almost like a period of incubation. That's what you've been going through. Um, I feel like it's time for a birth, okay? In the near future, we have the Empress, which is the birth of a new life, okay? So this is a new baby. It's a new beginning. It is beautiful. You're going to be glowing. You're going to be sitting really, really pretty in the future. I feel like you have a lot going on for you. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. So this is unconditional love. It's being loved and cared for. So you, somebody is going to be taking care of you, especially, I mean, if you are a masculine energy, you do have a feminine here that can take care of you. This may be somebody that is very skilled, could be, you know, um, a motherly type of energy. If you are a female watching this, you are going to be taking on that Empress energy. You're going to be glowing. You're, you, people are going to be really drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to your loving, caring nature. You're going to be um, sought after if you are a female. I feel like you're going through a period of of birth and everybody can see it everybody and this is for male or female you're going through a period of rebirth and it's beautiful it really is beautiful um being loved and cared for is definitely on the table here that's what this is about this is about being loved and cared for i feel like you're highly intuitive at this time i feel like you need to listen to your intuition i feel like you're going to be put on the spot by somebody from your past now this could be a friend it could be a lover it could be um a family member there's something from the past that is coming back around this person there is six of cups reversed page of swords reversed five of cups reversed so this i'm telling you what this is like somebody may want a reunion they may be coming with an apology you know but i think that you need to be very very careful because i feel like this person um, may not have the best intentions with the page of swords reversed they may want to work with you now uh, somebody is going to be wanting to work with you, okay? They're going to be wanting to work with you. Um, and I feel like what they do is they know that you're going to take care of them. They see it, or especially if you are a female watching this, you have some sort of loving manner about you and somebody wants you to take care of them. Um, it's kind of like mother nurse energy, that kind of thing. Um, if you are a masculine energy, if you are a masculine watching this, you could be partnering up with a nurse mother energy. Um, somebody that is very loving that, um, 
has some sort of skill that takes care of others. I feel like we have a we have a caregiver here, somebody that is very caring, very loving, that is going to be um, nurturing. It's almost like nurturing a baby or nurturing another person. There's a lot of, I feel like there's nurturing going on. Um, your advice is listen to your gut, listen to your intuition. You are very, very gifted at this time. I feel like you need to sit back, you need to observe, you need to take everything in and reflect on everything that's happening around you in this next week. Um, there's a potential partnership here, but I think that you also need to be careful of a third party because we have the Two of Cups mirroring the Three of Pentacles, okay? So we have a partnership, but you know, there's a third party here. Somebody may be upset, they may be angry, maybe you've... Uh, let them go with the six of cups reverse you know maybe you've uh cut them out maybe you've shut down communication with this person this person may be trying to apologize to you because they want you to take care of them and they know that you're very loving and kind or whatever anyhow you need to listen to your gut you need to listen to your intuition you need to go within take time to reflect on what is being presented to you whoever you're dealing with this is in their uh you know, this is your external influence. This is somebody that you're dealing with. They're unhealthy. They're not happy. They've, they are putting out false impressions. They may be depressed. They're in a very dark place. So somebody that you are dealing with is in a dark place, okay? They're, they may even be experiencing some poor health at this time. This person is not being honest with themselves, right? They are not seeing things clearly. They are... Uh, lonely, okay, whoever you're dealing with, and they, it's because they're disillusioned, they are unwilling to see things as they are, it's like they live in the shadow, so I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, I don't know, maybe they like to bring others down, or they're just in a really dark place, they're in a, because... I think that you're going to be caught off guard by a message from somebody from your past or somebody that has abandoned you or hurt you in the past. I feel like this person um, is in a depressed state. I feel like they're in a depressed state of mind and they want you, they need your love, or they need your attention or they need you to take care of them or something like that. And this could go vice versa. Okay, so if you're the cross watcher, this could go vice versa. We definitely have tender love and care here on the table with this Empress card. Okay, this is being loved and cared for, right? It's a time of growth. It is a time of growth, but whoever you're dealing with is lacking light, right? They're lacking growth. They're, they're going through a very tough time. In the hopes and fears position, we have the hangman reverse that is sacrificing needlessly, will not change, struggling to let go. So I feel like you, there's, a, there's a struggle here, sacrificing, and I feel like it's you. I feel like you're struggling to let go of a belief or, and you need to. I think you're missing an opportunity. And this is in your hopes and fears. This is letting go. Maybe you're, maybe you're, you're, you're hoping for somebody to let go of something that they're hanging on to. Maybe it's a cause or it's a belief or it's, an, or it's a perspective. We have somebody here. This is your stubborn ass. This is somebody that is unwilling to change. They're unwilling to let go. They're unwilling to budge. They're missing an opportunity. Somebody that is highly egotistical. Now, this could be you. Okay, so if you're the cross watcher, this could be your Sagittarius. This is somebody that is unwilling to change. They're unwilling to open up. They're unwilling to let go of their old ways. They're unwilling to see things from a new perspective. So there is somebody here that is unwilling to change. They will never, ever, ever change. And because this person will never, ever change, there is going to be a goodbye. There is going to be a departure. This is a, is a, is a you know, it's emotionally disappointing. You must... It's like, I got to go. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, you know? So we got somebody here that is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. They're really, 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 really not happy. Been resisting change. The hangman reverse can also be the opposite, okay? It can be that somebody is deciding to let go. They're not happy at all. They're not happy. Um... It's time for a birth. It's time for a new life. It's time to walk away from an emotionally disappointing situation. I feel like you know that it is. Mirroring that Eight of Cups is the High Priestess. It's an inner knowing. It's like you know that you have to. <laughs> mm. 
packing up, leaving home, nothing stays the same, clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. A message is coming. It may not, it may shock you. It may catch you off guard. I feel like there's been some sort of uh, lack of communication or miscommunication or abuse, an abuse of power. Somebody could be coming back with an apology. This person has a hard time apologizing, but they may be. Um, I do feel like we have a partnership here. That it, That's what this focus is. This focus is about a partnership. It's about a union. I think there's been some thir sort of third party here. We have somebody here that's been struggling to let go of a third party. And a third party could be a sibling. It could be a mother. It could be a father. It could be a co-worker. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. Okay, third parties can be anything. It's a meddler. And we definitely do have somebody here that is in the middle. Okay, with the Page of Swords reversed. There is somebody here that is causing strife. Okay, they're causing this power struggle. Um, hi, Priestess. Go within. Listen to your gut. You're going to be, you're going to be, let me just get another card to go with that. You're going to be put in a position where you have to uh, see things from a new perspective. You're going to have to be open-minded. Four of Pentacles reversed. Letting go. Whoever you are dealing with, put it on top of the sun reversed and the high priestess, it's, it's touching both. So that's letting go. Whoever you're dealing with is really not happy. And, maybe, and that could be you that's not happy because that's the outside influence, right? There's unhappiness, there's poor health, there's depression, there's no light, this is dark, this is poor logic. Um, broken relationship, no growth, letting go, letting go of something that felt secure. Uh, knowing that it's time to let go. This is no life. This is dark. Letting go, letting go. Somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. Okay. We have a very spiritual individual here that uh, may have some advice for you as well with the high priestess. This is about letting go. You need to let go. You need to stop resisting change. Upright, this is resisting change. Reversed is, is accepting it. It's letting it go. It's, it is. So there's no... Um, well, that sun card reversed is a no answer. It's no. It's no uh, growth. Something isn't growing. There's a lack of growth here. There's, there's depression. There's poor health. You need to open up. You need to let go of your fears. You need to let go of your insecurities. And maybe there's somebody here that is going to be letting go of theirs if it's not you. It could be your outside influence. Somebody has been protecting themselves. There's going to be a change because we saw that temperance card. Your patience. Thank you for your patience. You know, that's what I wanted to say right when I saw that. So your patience. Thank you for your patience. So somebody may be, you know, thank you for your patience for me, with me. Um, eight of cups, saying goodbye. Somebody is saying, that's the overall outcome, headed towards love. Somebody has been resisting change. They're going to be opening up. They're going to be going in a new direction. They've been holding on to a cause, sacrificing themselves needlessly for something this is a change maybe it's just a new perspective that is being gained maybe somebody has gone within or they've received some advice from somebody or they've received it from their gut or their intuition it's like becoming enlightened maybe somebody's gonna become enlightened you know they've been very stubborn extremely stubborn um working together we have a third party here. Somebody's been working with somebody in. It's a third party situation. This person has been uh, not really communicating, but you are about to receive a blessing because the Empress is in your future and that is a blessing. Your patience waiting for this blessing. Your blessing is coming. There is definitely a blessing that is coming for you, which is going to make you very, 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 very happy. I mean, that's a miracle. When the Empress gives birth, she gives birth to a, a you know, a miracle. This is a miracle. It's a blessing. Clarifying the eight of eight of cups is the six of swords. So that's going somewhere. It's moving on. Okay, somebody's gonna be taking a ride. This is a time of transition. They're going somewhere, definitely with the Eight of Cups. 
This is moving, it's leaving behind a troubled situation, an emotionally disappointing situation. Somebody is going somewhere. They are going to a better place. They're moving. They're moving to a better place. They're moving forward. They're leaving the rough waters behind. They're leaving the strife behind. They're leaving the struggle behind. They're going somewhere. So we definitely have somebody here that is leaving, okay? They're leaving. They're coming out of confusion. It's like they, they're just taking that ride. This is the rite of passage. So we do have somebody here that is going in a new direction. They're traveling. They're making a move. Um, they're headed towards wish fulfillment. It's like they're just doing it. And I feel like nighttime is prominent. So I'm wondering if this move is at night. Somebody decides to make this move at night. It's like they just decide to leave at night. You know? Um, can't do it anymore. It's time to go. It's almost like it's a very... It feels like it's uh, done in secret. You know, it's like a secret. I got it. It's like done in the middle of the night or done at night or done, you know, in secret because High Priestess is very secretive. Something is happening. Okay. Um, We have somebody here that has missed an opportunity and I feel like they're really unhappy about the missed opportunity. And I don't know if we have a psychic or a medium or a tarot reader here or somebody that is very intuitive that has given somebody a message. Anyway, the hangman reverse is a missed opportunity because of stubbornness, because of ego, because of pride, because of, you know, sacrifice. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves for a situation that they're not happy in, which is 100% clear. But there's going to be some movement. Okay. There's your delay. There's your delay. I was clarifying the hangman reversed. Unwilling to let go. But this is a stop. There could be an emotional or an angry outburst ahead. Unable to master emotions. Stuck. Stuck. Stuck right next to the hangman reverse. Somebody's been stuck. But. But. We have the lovers. So the lovers is a choice. It's an unexpected choice in love. It's a card of choices, decisions, partnership, unity, compatibility. It's like an angel. This angel has brought in these two people together. It's a perfect match. So this does have to do with a union. It does have to do with a partnership. Somebody has been stuck. They have. They've been... Uh, unwilling to let go there's been no success they haven't been able to find their discipline or they've been held back by fear but i definitely feel like we have a change i do see a goodbye i see going somewhere you know i feel like the overall outcome is a transition it's 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 it's, it's saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation going to a better place going somewhere there's been a delay there could even be some punishment here. I mean, with the hangman reverse, that could be punishment. Somebody may have been punishing themselves. But I do believe that there is a choice that is going to be made. It does have to do with a partnership. It does have to do with a union. We have two people here that are meant to be together. I think there's been a delay. There's been some sort of delay. But I feel like it's time because temperance, to me, is a card of timing. And there could definitely be some sort of reunion here. Going somewhere. Somebody is traveling. They're going somewhere. There are. There's been a delay, but I, and I feel like the de delay comes from stubbornness. But now there's going to be some movement. You are about to receive some sort of blessing because the empress gives birth to a blessing there's been a delay but i feel like it's time so i feel like this week you're going to be receiving something that moves you towards happiness that six of swords that's what it is it moves you towards balance and harmony okay it does it takes you out of a troubled situation uh, out of a, an emotionally disappointing situation you are moving you are moving towards 
serenity and harmony and balance, okay? So this is a, I feel like it's a positive week of transition because that is what the Six of Swords is and that's right up, that's right up in the outcome, okay? This is the overall outcome of the week. Saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation and going in a new direction towards serenity and harmony and just leaving it all behind. So you're going to, I feel like you are, I feel like you're traveling. This is, this is like going to a better place, moving on. You may even have somebody here that's taking you somewhere. They're taking you to a better place, or this could even be an arrival. Um, anyhow, and good luck.